Hello Pisces, this is going to be a reading for July 1st to July 5th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the comments, all the views. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all of you so much. I really, really do. Thank you. I'm happy with how much my channel is growing. So there's going to be a full moon on the 5th of July. It's called the full buck moon because the buck's antlers are in full growth mode at this time. It's also referred to as the thunder moon because there's more thunderstorms during this moon than any other moon. So remember there's a good way to charge your crystals in the moonlight if you get the moonlight where you live is to um, put them in a plant that has dirt so they're touching earth and then set them in the windowsill or in the window so they get the moonlight and you can recharge them or you can set them outside. So the birth chart challenge for the month of July is for you to look on your birth chart and find the trine. So the trine is a little triangle and you can google what trine means it's kind of hard to explain. So look for little triangles and um, Google what they mean after you do that. A trine equals luck in your birth chart and it is a reward from a past life. And so if you're new to my channel, every month on the first and second week I give people a birth chart challenge where you can look on your birth chart and learn something about yourself. And if you, I started it in January so when January comes around the people who are paying attention and doing that that choose to will know 12 things about their birth chart that they didn't know before they came to my channel. So just putting that out there because I think it's really important. So I also say everyone should have a dream journal to keep track of dreams when you wake up in the morning or wake up at night. If you write down what's in your brain it will jar your brain to think of it later and you'll be surprised at what you write down. You should have a birth chart journal, and you should also have a dream journal, birth chart, and what was the other one? I'm drawing a blank. Birth chart, dream, and... Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. I do kind of have a headache, actually. I've kind of had one for a while, and I get migraines really bad. Especially when the things shift really bad. So, okay, so let me go. I'm going to switch to the, or I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you. First one is nine, Amble with Contentment. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. So this is the seahorse. And the seahorses attach themselves to something and stop when the current gets too, too harsh. So this tells me if the current gets too harsh or the flow of energy around you is not equal to yours and gets really flowing against your energy, then you should stop and ground yourself and wait for that to pass, is what this means to me. Trust your gut feeling, the sensitivity you feel in a situation, the feelings a person may give you. Pay attention to all that. No matter what anyone says, listen to your feelings, how certain situations and people make you feel. So then the next one for you, Pisces, is Empower Yourself 29. So tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be the strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. And this is an affirmation card to me. This is the sailfish. So he is powerful in his bill that can pierce through very hard exteriors, which means you can... You have the power to push through hard exterior emotions or circumstances where most people would give up. It talks about his sail fin right here, how that makes him look so powerful and how beautiful it is. So there's something about you, Pisces, that attracts others that makes them notice you and they think, wow, that is just beautiful. So this is a power card, like I said, affirmation that you're where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you are somehow empowering yourself with what you're doing right now, which is very beautiful. So the next one of the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Pisces. So this is 45 leaping through the air. 
A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something, get to work and start putting off ideas or projects you are considering. So this is another affirmation card. This is the flying fish and it says how they can leap ahead up out of the water and leap ahead of their enemies or their, their the fish that are trying to attack them. They can jump ahead of them and get out of the water. And it's shocking how much they can jump ahead. So this tells me that you're going to move ahead really fast um, and it's going to shock you. You're going to move ahead and you're going to turn around and look behind you and go, Oh my gosh, how did I get this far? That's crazy how I moved that far and didn't realize I was moving that far. Is what I'm feeling. And affirmation. I mean, the pink is so beautiful. The wings are beautiful. Those are beautiful fish. It's very nice. That is just so empowering, is all I can say, Pisces. This is a good reading so far. All right, so I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. And I'm curious to what cards come out here because these two already make me kind of curious to what's in here. Let's see what comes out. So Four of Sky is you taking a rest. You're overthinking something or you're feeling overwhelmed by circumstances, situations, people. Something is making you feel like you need to step back and be by yourself. Whether it's thinking about something, working through something, I'm not really sure. So Two of Earth is strength and balance, Pisces. So it says you have the strength and balance to get through what you're going through right now. And you had that over there as well. So the next one is Sea Queen. So Sea Queen is somebody who's very emotionally balanced. They're very secure in their self-confidence. This could be a mentor. This could be somebody who gives advice to people. This person is very just grounded is what I'm picking up. Very grounded. So Earth Queen is somebody who's very set in their ways. They usually don't change their ways too often and they're just totally don't understand why everybody doesn't do everything the way they do everything. So kind of a hard person to deal with Pisces. Somebody who doesn't change. And so sometimes it's hard for people to deal with. And they don't understand it at all. Like I said, that makes it even harder. So this is C. Tom. This is my player card. This is somebody who comes in and flirts and leaves. Comes in, flirts and leaves. Gets what he wants or she. Feel free to vice versa masculine and feminine energies. They're just energies on the card. And the card uh, can represent masculine or feminine. Whatever applies to you if the situation or the card applies to you. So then you have Tennessee, which is happiness. This is family or going around somebody traveling with your family, people that make you strong. And your family can be your friends. Family is who you consider family. And I see the moon here, so I don't know if there's some traveling going on or holiday something. You're going to be with your family on the holiday, and you're going to feel happy and strong for a lot of you. So love and abundance. Love and abundance is coming to you. And that's beautiful. So Six of Sea is a lot of tears. There is a lot of crying, a lot of crying. Did I already think I know why, but excuse me, let's pick up a couple more cards. So Six of Fire is somebody who's a boss-like um, person and people respect this boss. They think they're a good worker, they're kind to them. So that could represent a co-worker or a boss for you. Excuse me again. So Two of Sky, this has to do with something from the past that's coming out into, into now. And it has a full moon again, so it could be around the full moon. But these are all tattered and torn. So something from your past, I feel like it's a few years ago. Maybe a pattern you've carried around is getting ready to come out somehow. I'm not really sure if you're going to address it. If somebody's going to point it out to you, if you're going to be more aware of it. So seeking is somebody who, again, is balanced, somebody who's grounded, somebody who watches you, I feel. 
So Nine of Sky is you feeling really stressed out. You can't sleep. Something has you feeling really on edge. You can't sleep. You're really worried. And the wheel is changing, Pisces, so you need to stop worrying because this says that it's going to change. The wheel, the cycle is going to change. You don't need to worry. Something's going to correct itself. So Fire Queen is a beautiful female that is, I feel like she's angry when I get this card. The Fire Queen is somebody who will cut somebody out, who will communicate clearly her emotions. And the lovers, this could represent a Gemini placement around you or in your birth chart or a lover coming in that is a Gemini. And this is the card. I wondered if it was going to come out, Pisces. So look at this. This is the flying fish right here. So you got double confirmation on the, on the, uh, this is another affirmation card. So you have the flying fish, you have the shrimp, you have emotions, you have the, cat toy which is gold which is abundance you have the feathers which is heaven and you have the flying fish twice that is very powerful this is the card I wondered if it was going to come out when I started when I pulled that card because I knew I had this one in here and I'm shocked that I have two decks of cards with the same fish in there and one is a cat deck that's even more stranger but that's powerful so something is going to happen in your favor Pisces I cannot stress enough something's changing that is going to be so abundant to you so you're where you're supposed to be I'm going to switch to the charcoal wisdom deck now and you have four swords so look at this you had it twice I almost want to cry for you Pisces there's something about your heart that you have been hurt. Your heart is broken. Somebody hurt your heart and you're trying to heal from it. I see here you're trying to heal. You're trying so hard to stop the repetitive thoughts. You're trying very, very hard to work through that heartbreak. So Ace of Cups, somebody's going to offer you love. Somebody's coming in that's going to offer you a lifetime of love, Pisces. You don't see it. And eight, three of wands. So three of wands is opportunity. So I feel like you may have three opportunities around you to date. You may have opportunities around you to date and some kind of new job, some kind of new life. I mean, this kind of goes with the wheel. You had the wheel. So the wheel of fortune. Your life is changing. I feel like a lot of you manifested what is coming to you. I feel it. I feel so much love, so much new beginnings, so much happiness coming to you. You're just going to be like, how did it even turn out like this? Seriously, you are. So four of coins is you feeling a little vulnerable, a little guarded. So you're holding your heart close to you. You are a little suspicious. You're a little weary of people. You're not too forthcoming on your trust. So this says it, it's going to balance out. Who hurt you in the past, Pisces, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to get full circle of how they made you feel. But I feel like you're, you're going to balance out. This new person coming into you is not going to demand anything from you. I feel like they're just going to love you. And you're going to come full circle where it's going to work out. And you're totally going to see why the other relationship didn't work out. Everything's going to come full circle. I can't stress enough. This is so beautiful here. This pretty much means hold your space. When the current gets too strong, just hold. Hang on to something, ground yourself. Empowering yourself and leaping through the air. You're going to good places. So two of coins is compromise and flexibility. And I explained this that she has three bags. And they say, you can come with us to Hawaii if you take two bags. And she says, no, I want to take three bags. And I say, okay, bye. So if you're not flexible and compromising, you could miss opportunities. And it sucks that you have to decide what opportunities you need to be flexible and compromise with and which ones will be good for you. That's the hard part. So this is the lovers, which just came up twice for you, Pisces. This could be Gemini placement. This is beautiful. So somebody is coming towards you. 
And then you have judgment. Again, these go right hand in hand. I can't stress enough that the universe has got you in their arms. And I feel like there is three people who either pass judgment on you or hurt you. Or just blatantly just were rude to you. And I do feel like they hurt you and they didn't care about your feelings. So the universe has a surprising way of balancing feelings out and making people reap what they sow. So I feel like it's going to come full circle for somebody who hurt you. So then you have the strength card which could represent Leo placement in your birth chart or around you Pisces. You have the strength and you had the strength and balance. The Fool. So the Fool is my leap of faith card. You're getting ready to take a leap of faith. You're strong enough and you are going to take a leap of faith. The Star could represent Aquarius, but this is somebody having a lifetime of love for you or you having a lifetime of love for somebody else or both. Somebody you wish, I feel, is coming towards you. So Seven of Cups has to do with you reflecting on something from the past you can't let go of. And it's not doing you any good to hang on to it. It's holding you back and it's time to release whatever that is. And look at this, the High Priestess. So to me this says that this new person coming into you to love you is going to help you release a lot of stuff you've hung on to, a baggage in the past, that you're going to be releasing. And the High Priestess knows her worth. She doesn't mince words, she's honest to a fault, she wears her heart on her sleeve, and for those who are close to her, she's a beautiful person. For those who don't know her, they're probably put off by her because she's so confident and knows what she wants and where she wants to go that some people just read it wrong. Which she doesn't care who reads it wrong. She knows her self-worth, like I said. Alright, so now I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards for you. Pisces, and you have free fall on number 50. So free fall, and basically what it says, I feel like you are falling into probably the happiest cycle of your life ever. I really, really do. A lot of you Pisces. Nasty knot. So I do feel like something is going to come full circle um, that might create a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure why or what that could be. I don't know if it's your your feelings or somebody having an issue with the choices you make almost is what I'm picking up and just say no. So no is spelled two ways in the English language. It's spelled this way but it's also spelled this way. So just say no means no I don't want anything. This means I know what I want if that makes sense. So I feel like you do know what you want. You know what you want to say no to. You know what you want to say yes to. And you know what you want 100%. How you, what change in you to make you feel like you know what you want, I'm not really sure. But I do feel like something clicked during this, this situation in the last few months where you are more clear on what you want than you ever have been in your life. And you feel it coming to you. So then you have Hasta La Vista Baby. So, Hasta La Vista is something ending, something that was dark and not for your highest good you're walking away from, and the universe is holding you and supporting you in this light to leave this dark behind. Seven, these add to seven, and seven is a heaven number for me. So, heaven is supporting you on making a decision on walking away from something, Pisces, it's not for your highest good. Pick up after yourself. This has to do with the universe saying, when you come across people and relationships in your life, don't leave a mess. Don't go break somebody's heart on purpose. And I don't feel like many Pisces do this, but be aware. Some of you must need to hear this or it wouldn't have came up. Don't go mess with people who have feelings for you and keep seeing them when you know you don't have the same feelings. Don't go create dramas. Don't just... Make your life as simple as you can without creating messes along the way or dramas along the way. And I feel like a lot of you Pisces are very mindful of not doing that. So I'm kind of confused on why that's coming out. So 25 is living large. So upright triangle is usually masculine energy. Feel free to vice versa masculine feminine energy where it applies to you though. So 25 again is 7 if you add the numbers. I feel like... 
pick up after yourself and this coming out, you're moving into a higher spiritual realm, you're moving into more abundance and you have to be aware of who can come around your energy and your abundance. You haven't been so clear on who you've let around you and the universe is ready to bring you more and they're telling you part of you getting this abundance, Pisces, is you being able to discern who can come around you in your energy and be around your abundance and who cannot. You have to be very aware of that and very careful if that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying there. Alright, so now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson card for you. So the first one that comes up is purpose. I know what I am here to do. And I totally get this. I do with all these cards. If something is coming to you, a healing, and something with your heart chakra where you know why you're here. With, like I said, within the what's happened in the last few months, something clicked in you that made you more in sync in the dial of your dynamics of how you work, your brain, your body, everything. So discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Again, purple. You have two purple. So I feel like you have healed, you have disciplined yourself to move into a higher vibration, I feel, to where you are more aware. I mean, look at the geometrical patterns here, especially this one. You, you understood all this in your soul to get discipline to get into there, if that makes sense to you. It does to me. So now I'm going to switch to the... Mystical Cats Tarot deck for you, and the first one you have is hiding number five. Five is usually a change, and hiding to me means that there's people around you, Pisces, who are not for your highest good. So you have to downplay your abundance. I know that is harsh, but it's just for your higher good. So don't be forthcoming with your abundance, forthcoming with your, your good blessings. Keep it more to yourself, because there's people who would be, I feel like it'll bring out negative energies from other people towards you, and you don't need it, so if you just don't talk about it, they won't have so many reasons to bring negative energies towards you, if that makes sense. Alright, so now we're going to pull the next one for you, Fantasy Cats Oracle card, and you have Summer, the Wild Energy of Midday. And this is about intimacy. This is my intimacy card. New beginnings of being intimate. New beginnings of feeling love. New beginnings of feeling excited. And just being excited when you find somebody that you want to be around. Um, I'm feeling like somebody you want to touch is very overwhelming is coming to you or is around you now, but it's going to get more powerful, I feel. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to pull the Angel and Ancestor because I'm hurrying on the time. And you have Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. This is the Virgo placement in this deck. And this talks about being by yourself and recharging, making yourself strong, making yourself confident, pushing away the negativity that people have put on you over the past month or couple months or few weeks. You have to be strong and deflect that off you. Taking a shower can wash negative energy off you. Water helps. So just keep that in mind. If you have children and you feel like they go through a traumatic situation, taking a bath or a shower can help them wash that negative energy off them to make them feel better if they like showers. If they don't, that won't help too much. Well, it will, but they won't enjoy it. Alright, now I'm going to pull the next one, and you have Autumn, Release the Old and Rest. So I do feel like they're telling you definitely to release the old. I feel like there's something that maybe happened last autumn that you're hanging on to that hurt you a lot that you can't seem to move past. So they're telling you release it and rest. Let it go. It wasn't for your highest good. It's not for your highest good. Only allow things for your highest good to come for you to come forth to you. If you don't know how to manifest, Google. Read a couple articles to get what you can. Take what you can use, leave the rest. But you, it's, it's powerful. You have the power to do it. So something, maybe this autumn is going to bring abundance or a powerful life-changing thing to you. So now I'm going to do your fortune cookie here for you, for your reading today. 
And your fortune cookie is... It says, if you can touch her heart without touching her, then you can melt her heart just by saying her name. That's pretty powerful. And it's crazy, again, the dynamics of men and women here on earth, that we don't understand each other and men don't know their power and women don't know their power. So hopefully that helps some of you realize your power because you've had two power cards and the fortune cookie was pretty much power of a man explaining to a man the effect he can have on a woman. And that's knowledge if a man uses it correctly to his advantage. So I hope this helps so much, Pisces. This was a very good reading. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Pisces.